Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time I want to talk about this rivalry between Fans Toys and X-Trans Bots, and how far does it go back, and how far do they want to go with it. Stick around to the end of the video, and I will tell you who will win. One could argue that the entire third-party world in the Transformers world is very competitive. There is a lot of rivalry between a lot of them, but none can be outmatched by the X-Transbots and the Fans Toys rivalry. And we're going to throw KFC in there because, hey, that's Keith's Fantasy Club and Keith's X-Transbots, so let's get into this. And the first thing I started noticing about this bit of rivalry was when I started looking to buy a Trailbreaker and I started looking at all the different companies and what's out now and and I decided I was going with X Transbots and I was dead set on it. But it's funny because in the comments in the forums in the groups, comments in YouTube videos, it was constantly I wait for the fan stories and wait for the fan stories and wait for the fan stories. Even in reviews of the X Transbots, Aegis itself, I'll wait for the fan stories, I'll wait for the fan stories, I'll wait for the fan stories. And I thought that was a bit odd. That's the same situation with KFC's version of the Blitzwing. Everybody would just talk about how they'll wait for the fans toys. And I was looking at fans toys pictures and thinking, I don't see how this is drastically better than what KFC put out. And when I got KFC in hand, I was like, wow, it's it's painted well, it looks good, it has some stability issues. But fans toys went back to redesign theirs, because they didn't want theirs to come out and have the same issues. But but it's interesting too how I'll wait for the fans toys. I'll wait for the, I kept hearing that over and over and over, and I still think that this is a decent looking. This Ditka looks good. It just has some stability issues, and they even released upgrade parts so you could fix it to reduce the stability issues. But even with all that, I'll wait for the fans toys going on with the fans. I didn't really piece together. There's a bit of a rivalry between the two companies at that time but i didn't really notice until cyclonus that's what really put this whole rivalry on my map and well let me put it like this x transbots made their cyclonus i don't think fans toys started working on their quietus until their pre-order for x transbot cyclonus arrived and then they looked at it and said oh i think that's how we'll make ours but we'll make ours thinner better paint and, and we want to have the better one. I truly believe that's what happened with this situation. And if you look at it, I've already made a video talking about it, but hey, Fans Toys is 80% copied engineering from X Transbots. If you have both of them and you flip them around a bit, you see the similarities. And I know I've gotten a lot of backlash on that, but I still feel the same way even after 100 people disagreeing with me. But then Fans Toys did win with their Galvatron. They beat X Transbots to the market with their Galvatron, and I think X Transbots just backed off and said, "Hey, I, we don't think we can beat them. If we can't be the best, we don't want to put it out." I truly think that's why they never put their Galvatron out. When you look at a company like X Transbots, that's already done so many of the movie bots, and they've already gone that route, they might as well finish it out and have a full set on the shelf, which starts to make you wonder why Fans Toys hasn't or made Scourge yet. Which that would be an interesting one. Sadly, X Transbots did abandon their Abaddon, but I really think they could retool it, re-engineer it, and come back and beat Fans Toys. I mean, it's just a belief that I have. I think that they could do it, and if anyone could, it would be them. And I know I've talked about it before in the past, but I think that X Transbots gave up on Cup also. Like, we are looking forward to a Cup from them. I think that they feel like the fans toys version is better than theirs that's my personal opinion i don't have anything to back that up but the truth is if you just look at these if x transbots went back and tweaked theirs a bit it could be even more tune accurate than the fans toys version but you know what more than that it could actually be a joy to transform now this might have been designed during the era where x transbots was not a joy to transform but all of their newer figures are much smoother and easier to transform and intuitive and don't break as easy. Uh, some of them 
get broken. But, you know, in reality, I think it would be more fun and more enjoyable to have the X-Transbots version if they went that route. So getting into some of these more recent events, the Spindrift. Now, I've talked about this a bit when I did my Neptune review, but Fans Toys put out the Spindrift, which was a decent attempt at making a Sea Spray. It didn't look like Sea Spray didn't capture the character itself. And it's an alright figure. It's not a horrible figure. And it's a 55 bucks. It's a cheap figure. But Fans Toys couldn't just be okay. X Transbots have the win on this one. X Transbots blew Spindrift 1.0 out of the water. So what did Fans Toys do the week that Neptune started shipping? What did they do? They dropped their 2.0 pictures and said, we're making one. The week that this was shipping. You know what? I, I had a lot of people tell me that they're canceling their x Translast Neptune because they want the Fans Toys. But they didn't look at the details. The Fans Toys one's going to be a lot shorter. Not really part of the character. And it's gonna we're not going to get it for a long time. And Neptune is an excellent figure. These people canceled their orders before reviewers even got Neptune in hand to say how good it was. And by the way, no review I've I seen say something bad about Neptune. Yeah, it's not perfect. There's nothing perfect. But everybody said that they were surprised and pleased with how good of a figure it is. Now, Sea Spray wasn't the only little battle that they had against each other in the mini bot realm. Now we're getting Dune Rider from Fans Toys. And when you look at these, there are a few people out there, well, quite a few people out there, arguing about or discussing about which one of these is better? X Transbots has held the spot as the best version of Beachcomber for a long time now. For years. And now Fans Toys come along wanting to prove, hey, we're better. But a lot of people think that, that the alt mode's better on the X Transbots, and X Transbots really is a better figure. We don't know yet because we don't have Fans Toys in hand, but the looking at the paint as hey. This might be one that Fans Toys doesn't win, but we'll find out. Now, most recently we've seen some reissues of the KFC's version of their Reflector. Now, this is something interesting here. KFC's willing to put out reissues of their Reflector, but Fans Toys is not. And a lot of people are upset that Fans Toys won't reissue their old stuff. But guess what? X-Transbots, KFC, Make Toys, all these other companies are reissuing their old figures so that the, the collectors do not get destroyed on the secondary market. But Fans Toys refuses to do that. A lot of people, there's a lot of rumors why Fans Toys doesn't do it. They say that they don't have molds anymore, the older ones are broken or lost or something's wrong with the old molds. We don't know. But there's, hey, there's a lot of figures that Fans Toys people want, but they won't reissue them. X Transbots KFC will. And guess what? People are buying those because they're reasonably priced over the Fans Toys version, even though I think a lot of people would rather have the Fans Toys version. And for those of you who keep thinking that the Springer War is over, it's not over. Wow, it's not over. The Springer War will be over when X Transbots wins it. <laughs> I think X Transbots is going to be better than the Fans Toys. I think a lot, well, a lot of people have said they think the MMC is a better figure than fans toys but you know when it comes to this many different options with one character which makes no sense that we have this many options it's all your personal point of view but i truly think x transbots they're not going to release theirs till they know theirs is the best and you know that's something new x transbots has been doing uh keith's been making sure that he puts out top-notch product and i guarantee I'm going to like this Virtuous more than Fans Toys. Now we're getting into Combiner territory. And we all know that DX9 and x Transbots were working on a Minasaur for quite a while. Uh, we'd known about them for, what, almost a year before Fans Toys decided to throw their hat in the ring. Now the thing that gets me the most is that Fans Toys decided to go after x Transbots and make a Minasaur. You have all these other characters that could be made, all these other combiners that could be made. But instead of making other ones, let's take on the competition, 
directly. Let's go hit them right in the head and take them on. Now, I know I'm talking about the rivalry between ex-trans bots and fans toys, but I would think that this is kind of a double duty fans toys is doing here. They have got to be wanting to get back at DX9 for what DX9 did to <laughs> Terminus Giganticus. So when fans toys was putting out their Omega Supreme, they're putting out in an A and a B, two sets, and they were like over $200 a set. So you're 450, 460, 470. I don't remember how much it was gonna cost. When I saw the price of the fans toys, I said, no, I'll just wait for someone else to do it. And shortly after that, DX9 dropped theirs. And theirs was going to be a lot cheaper, under $300, uh, or maybe right around $300. And that, looking at the two, I actually liked the look of the DX9 more. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with Fans Toys. Fans Toys is a great one. But I, st I just kind of gravitated more towards the DX9 version. And I eventually picked my DX9 version up for like 235 bucks shipped. And I'm very satisfied with it. I'm very pleased with it. And I don't have any regrets. But I think a lot of the pre-orders got canceled for the Terminus Giganticus. Simply because of the price. Even if you didn't think that the Gabriel looked better, they still were going after it for the price. And I bet there's some bad blood between these two guys, the DX9 and the Fans Toys, over this figure right here. Now, x Transbots is going back to the drawing board with their Motor Master, and before they release their Motor Master, which will combine it all, and they'll be the first to combine it, they wanted to redesign the trailer. Now, I personally, deep, deep down, I'm hoping that they add an inch and a half to it so it, it's a little taller and competes a little bit better. But I doubt that's going to happen. I was personally hoping they'd do it, and that's part of the redesigning, and that would have been stemmed from... Fans toys getting involved because they were only like one centimeter apart, which is 0.4 of an inch, which isn't that much, almost not noticeable on a shelf, but uh, an inch and a half to two inches is very noticeable. Like we just saw in my last video with the Power of the Primes KO version of the Predaking, and that's quite noticeable with that little inch and a half, two inches difference there. So when you see that they're they're doing this, I bet you anything they're also stalling they're stalling not because they can't put the figure out i don't think they want their stuff copied their transformation their way it combines copy none of these minosaurs have been revealed how they're going to combine none of them we haven't seen one part that's going to combine with them nothing all we see is these images and it starts to make you wonder the first one that reveals their hand how they do it, the other ones can take advantage of that. On one hand, they could say, wow, that's way better than what I'm doing. I'm going to redo how I'm doing mine. Good thing they released theirs first, and now I can copy them. Or they can sit back and say, oh, ours is way better than that. Cool. Either way, I think that's part of the whole stalling tactic. I, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get it by December, because once the whole Chinese New Year thing happens, getting more product out after that's gonna be a lot harder but I really don't see us being able to combine fans toys for some time now we're looking at the sometime next year uh, maybe what early summer possibly late spring maybe that's when they'll all be out with X Transbots they are gonna be the first and I, I feel like DX Dynamos fell off the map but they showed they had a pulse so so they're gonna be doing theirs too now let's get into who wins when competition is fierce and competitors and rivalry is there. People who win are the customers and the consumers, the collectors, you and me. We are winning out of all of this. I don't have a problem at all with fans toys and X Transbots going after each other. The Springer Wars were confusing at first, but now you can just sit back and pick which one you like the most. This is a good time to be collecting Transformers. The best time to be collecting Transformers. There are so many options out there. The future is still very bright and the consumer is winning, and as long as we have multiple companies battling it out, I would hate to see the alternative that all we have is Takara, and their prices go higher and give us less figures every year. I'm glad third party exists. I'm glad that they have competition. I'm glad that they hold standards for each other. I'm glad they try to beat each other. And for that, I feel like the winner in this. You should too. Like, subscribe, Tidarium Hanger, out.